Autobots transform. <laughs> This is George, a Transformer fan, and I finally tracked down all of these damn figures. The remainder of the Terracons only had one for like six, seven months. And in front of me is Center Twin in his bubble blister packaging on the card with the little artwork in the background. It's pretty good. Pretty cool artwork back there. Uh, it's an image, a CGI image of the toy itself, not the actual toy, just an image of it. Uh, it says Powers of the Prime, Center Twin, Deluxe Class, Hasbro ages 8 and up and on the side of the box you can see Abominus in uh, his merge form or you can see some of them anyway on the back of the box is the product shot and again um, this is not the actual toy it's a CGI render this looks like the actual actual toy here shows you can tab in the prime chamber holder thing it says how will the fierce Terracon century wield the power of the primes not much of a bio there they shouldn't even put it on there and be bothered I guess these are different primes that uh, are compatible with him and again, back to the front of the box, he's, he's packaged in, he has a weapon, looks very much like his G1 weapon, and he has a prime hold you can see in there. Paint job looks awesome, well, let's get in here, get to this guy, get closer to building Abominus. Can't wait to see, I always liked the Terracons ideal, the G1 toys weren't pulled off so great, in my opinion, at least the, uh, the limbs. They had the legs stuck together and everything like that. And I always wanted to see this little combiner group get done justice. And with the style they're using, they look perfectly like the G1 toys. Here is this car with that awesome artwork. Too bad it couldn't be bigger. The little file cards are pretty much useless to me. And here is the back of his card. Get that out of here. Get this guy out of there. Okay. Figure has one more tie on him. Now he is free from his stasis. Paint looks great on this guy. The colors look very vibrant. Going out of there. And here is Center Twin. Taking a look at his paint apps real quick, bring him a little bit closer. He has, uh, looks like a false Autobot rub symbol on his chest. It's a Decepticon purple emblem with the black background inside the little square. They could have filled in the entire little square in there, which they didn't, but they could have. Anyway, um, has some purple here and some red down here, some silver here, paint, and some more silver and red. On his lower legs, on the side, he has some silver there. His paint, everything I can see so far is done pretty well. Okay, let's take a look at Center Twin's articulation. His articulation is as follows. His head has a slight up and down movement. His head will also 360. And I think there's, there's a slight rocker for you can get a couple different expressions, if that's the word, out of this guy. Coming to his shoulders, they are ball joints. You can see the ball joints on both sides. I'm going to use the left side of the figure. His, his arm is clear to 360. You can bring it out this far, which is excellent. You can kind of look this way and bow. Um, bring it on that same ball joint, bring it back in. Coming to his upper bicep, it completely 360s, which is great. Awesome range of motion in his arm so far. His elbow hinge allows him to come up this far. And it won't go back any further than that. Coming down to his hand, I believe there's no true articulation here, but it will fold up for storage for his beast mode. And moving on to his waist, his waist is clear to 360. Even with the little double-headed kibble on the back, that's all good there. And he's ball jointed at the waist, which uh, gives him this much articulation here. And here. And here. And then at the top of his thigh or leg, there is a joint in there that allows a complete 360. There is a bend here at the knee. This is as much as you can get out of it at the knee, which is a lot for a figure of this scale and class. You can get it forward. 
and there is since the bottom of his leg from the knee down is like one giant boot or foot sculpt or leg calf and foot together there's nothing out of here you won't get any type of foot or rock or anything it's pretty much hollowed out so that is the extent of this guy's articulation set him down get him in front of the camera i'm going to get out his weapon his gun looks very much g1 which will make an appearance in this review and get that in his hand and because of the articulation he can pull up and turn and fire which is very cool you can look a lot of different ways articulation you get them in a lot of different poses and articulation I say it all the time is only as good as the poses they can get them in a lot of figures have like 30 points of articulation but you really can't do anything with it that you would actually like to do or looks functional but that's pretty cool right there then um, he has the prime master chamber holder which is a lot better than Dinobots. The Dinobots had this little translucent piece in here. And it's the same color as the rest of the plastic. Then he has the little yellow piece here. The color coordinates him. And you can plug it right into his chest. And I actually have a Prime Master somewhere. I broke down and bought one just to see what these guys look like with him. But I don't have it in front of me. It might make an appearance in the review. might not. You can take it out of there. You can plug it in here. But I think that's more or less for uh, Beast Mode. And you can take it put it in his hand. And... Like whatever kind of web, I don't know if unless he's firing the fingers or in some type of plasma energy or whatever, but that looks very goofy. And while I have him in robot mode, I'm going to break out his G1 counterpart. And here he is, G1 style, and man, update is successful and I'm digging it. This is my G1, and apparently my G1 has faded, but he's only partially faded like this hand over here is still original color as well as his head, but somehow the rest of it is faded. But then that's a something for a G1 review. And I keep his weapon stored back here when he's in um, combiner mode. And speaking of weapons, I might as well get to that. These are the two guns. They actually downsized it for the larger figure, but you can see where uh, it takes its inspiration. Looks a lot like the G1 toy. So, okay, comparing these guys, there is the head, the face. And it's, it's like I said, it's the, st the same, but it's blown up. It has the same little lines in it. But this is blown up and done a lot better uh, 30 years later, of course. His hands couldn't reach anything over here. Like, these guys were just basically meant to combine. No separation in the legs. Limbs hanging out over there. And over here, of course, is much better. You can see what it, the stickers... The paint on this one mimic the stickers over here that are still hanging around. And I noticed this guy has some purple plastic that color coordinates him with blot in his tail. That is not the same on the new one, but oh well. I think they made the horns purple and a little bit of purple in here, I guess, to make up for it. But I'm going to get him into his uh, beast mode. Right now, I'm going to tuck away his hands. A fold in there, bring his paws around, bring this around, um, his head, move this back, rotate his head around, bring the dino heads or dragon heads or whatever they are, bring these things forward, come down to his legs, open them up, and they just hinge down and around like everything else from Combiner Wars. Bring this around. Wait, I think... I'm going to hinge these together first. I think that's how it goes. Take them and hinge them together. And bring them around together. I think you might be able to do it either way, but let's see if this works. Okay, they came unhinged, but it works a little bit better. Come around here, close these little compartment things up. And you can see where, depending on which mode he is, it tabs in different. For the combiner mode, snap that in. Bring the tail or his double tail around. Is it snapped in? Bring these feet down. Feet down. Get his head up. And I believe, I think that is it. And apparently his front paws or front legs, but there are no articulation in the back legs. So these stick up a lot higher. I don't know if that's how he's supposed to sit. Or you're just supposed to squat them down some more. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much the dr two-headed dragon mode, dragon sword, whatever he is. 
And again, like you gotta like really squat that front leg because there's no articulation in here. But if you he can stand up higher at the front if you wanted him to, and I don't know if that looks right or that's how he's supposed to actually look. But I think that's just the result of the robot mode arms. I'm gonna get him back down real quick and check him out while he's in his dragon two-headed uh <laughs> mode or whatever so this is him there's a lot of molded in detail in his back which really looks cool and in the neck spine area of the double hinge double headed dragon more detail on the side and it's, it's pretty much hollowed out right here and i'm not exactly sure what that why that is these kind of look like almost look like stabilizers like for feet or something in this mode actually so I don't know if I just how it's supposed to hinge, but it's hollowed out in the front. And actually, and there is a lot of articulation for a figure like this. It's articulated here at the shoulder and at the neck. It's on a ball joint 360s, both of them. You can push this here, open up the mouth. He has painted teeth on top, which is pretty cool. Both mouths open, the horns painted, the eyes painted red. And uh, it's painted well. There's no slop on this figure. The little paint on the sides of the arm, which we saw in robot mode, looks good. Not much going on back here. Got some separation. Something I didn't tab in correctly. Has some good paint here, which we saw in robot mode. And two individual little tails, which <laughs> they're on his hands. I don't know if this counts as articulation. It makes him fold up in into his beast mode and back and forth to robot mode. So here he is. You can take his main weapon and put it right on his back, just like the G1. And we're going to get him in here. Bam. You can see where he takes his inspiration and where he actually comes from if you aren't into G1 toys. So here he is 30 years ago, and here he is present day. You can also take this off of here and swap it up, swap it out for his Prime Master. I guess you could turn it around and give his, his necks more clearance. And it blends in great. So here is Center Twin in his beast mode. Okay, so here's our guy all back in robot mode. He's pretty cool both ways as the two-headed dragon sword. He's pretty cool as a robot. He's even cool as a standalone figure if you don't get any of the other figures. I really like this toy. And I'm looking forward to see how he looks in combined mode. I'm going to say the whole combined thing for the combined video. So um, this has been George A's Transformer fan. Sam, I'll see you soon. Autobots transform.